Hello, this is David Hockman with the Columbia Orthopedic Group, and today I want to talk to you about the risks and benefits of knee replacement surgery. This is in no way a comprehensive uh, list of all the things that can happen, but it's just meant to be educational, but not an exhaustive list. It's always good to optimize and then operate, so we want to make sure that um, you know your weight is at a good weight, which yours is perfect, so that's good. And we want to make sure that you're not smoking and you don't smoke, so that's great. But those are the kind of things that we think about and getting you ready for surgery. We also want you to be um, healthy enough for surgery. And so we send you to an internal medicine specialist at the hospital or your home doctor, depending on where your surgery is at. Uh, we do surgery at Boone Hospital, and that's an inpatient facility. And we also do surgery downstairs at our ambulatory surgery center. We do outpatient joint replacement surgery. So it's really nice that we have those options now. When we do the surgery, uh, you know, you come in, you'll have a spinal anesthesia, which will make you numb from the waist down. And that's super important because that really uh, helps with pain control. So you wake up and you're numb from the waist down. Uh, you're asleep, but not so sleepy that you can't breathe on your own. Uh, so you're, you don't have to hear the saws and the hammers and all that. You just wake up and uh, then when things start to tingle and you start to feel a little pain, then you let them know you need some pain medication, okay? So surgery, what we do, the yellow is meant to represent your bone. We just take a little wafer cut all the way around the end. That's a, uh, about nine millimeters. And it's just as thin, okay, as this metal. That's how much bone we remove, just the thickness of this metal. It's like a dentist crowning a tooth. He just takes off a, a little wafer and cements that in place. And then on top of your shin bone, again, another little wafer, and then prepare this uh, top of the bone to accept this metal plate, and then plastic bushing goes in between and you got metal and plastic rubbing together. So you'll feel, feel click, that's normal, nothing to worry about. Uh, when we make a midline incision across the down your knee, there's a tiny little nerve that comes across that is always cut, it cannot be preserved, and it leaves you with a little tiny numb patch here. That's typical, nothing to worry about. Some people, that numb patch goes up a little bit, other people it goes down a little bit, so it might be a little bit lar larger, but typically it's just like, ends up being like the size of a silver dollar. So that's a total knee. If you look at, uh, some people will be a candidate for a partial knee, and it's just a little bit easier to uh, overcome a partial knee replacement, um, and it has its own risk and benefit. The clear, the clear now represents your bone, okay? And so, and these represent your ligaments. And all we do with a partial is we just take and put this metal plate in. We take out what's worn on the inside and put a metal plate and a little metal uh, runner on the end of the bone and put this plastic bushing in between and then it rotates back and, and not rotates but it slides okay and that's a benefits let's talk about the good stuff first when you have knee replacement typically you're a patient who has severe arthritis you've lost some functional ability and you have an increase in pain that you can't control with the non-operative methods we've tried so the benefit of surgery is it is a way to decrease your pain and increase your function. So there's no promise of it being a normal knee. It's not going to be something that you run or jump with. Uh, we don't want you to do that for uh, fear of causing problems with the implant, but you will be able to be active and cycle and swim and you know ski, um, things that you want to do, but not impact, okay? And so the benefit is not 100% pain relief. We can't ever guarantee that, but we, typically find that 85 to 95 percent of people are satisfied with their result. The biggest risk people worry about is infection. If it gets infected, all those parts could have to come out. That's serious. Uh, so we want to do everything we can to try and prevent infection. So we're going to give you uh, scrub brushes to, that are antibacterial detergents to wash with the night before and uh, the morning of surgery. We're going to talk to you about having good nutrition uh, you know, around the time of surgery and, and so that you have enough protein in your diet to heal. And, and you know, vitamin D3 and vitamin C and, and zinc and different things have been shown to be helpful for healing. So, so infection is, is a big problem. Uh, thankfully, it happens infrequently, okay. The other risks uh, used to be surgery for knee replacement, you'd be in the hospital three weeks laying around. You know, you'd go home the next day and we get you up walking the night of surgery. So you are very active quickly. And so that's really probably been the most important thing to reduce the risk of blood clots. If you, if you don't get your pain under control with medicine that we give you, you'll get stiff. Uh, if you don't have the attitude that, hey, sometimes it's good to have a little bit of no pain, no gain, I gotta push through this, you'll get stiff. 
A stiff knee is always a painful knee. Uh, if, if super flexibility, you might lose a little bit. If you're really stiff, you might gain a little bit. But the studies show the best indicator of what motion you expect uh, after surgery is what you have before surgery. But you got to work hard. So this, instability later, so this instability later on is a potential, but it's pretty rare. So the main thing that I want you to think about is what can I do to get my wound to heal and be healthy. If I'm diabetic, I keep my blood sugars under good control, tight control, get this wound to heal so there's not a wound complication. And then, uh, and then but then it's, then it's six weeks, then we'll see you in clinic, get an x-ray, see how you're doing, get you back to work typically. And then we'll see you again at four months. And at four months, typically people are pretty happy telling us that things are going well. You know, the good news is these are better, longer lasting. If you have the right expectations and you put in the work, you're going to do great. Thanks so much. Again, remember, this is just an educational video. It's not meant to be exhaustive. Thanks for listening.